I remember a really, really long time ago, obviously super long ago because I've been with my wife for 11 years, married for 10. Um, but when I was single, I had this girl who was like, oh, I'm interested in you. I'm like, oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. So I was interested in her as well. But whenever I would pursue her, again, I was single, it, she wouldn't really show me the time of day. But then if I ended up talking to somebody else or she found out that somebody else was interested in me, then she'll be like, hey, hey, what's going on? Hey, what's up? What's up? That's when her real interest would be at its peak. And it seems as if that is exactly what's happening with a lot of these free agents and the Baltimore Ravens. See, when these free agents are out there as free agents and we don't hear about anybody being interested in them, all of a sudden the Baltimore Ravens seem to have this great interest in them. But then that's when other teams end up pursuing as well. So Darius Smith had been sitting out there, uh, and then it came up, oh, boom, the Baltimore Ravens, they agreed to a contract with Darius Smith. Then what happened? Oh, apparently he backed out. Then the Vikings were like, oh, scoop and score. Bobby Wagner, he got released before free agency even started. So he had a head start on so many other players. But we didn't hear anything. Baltimore Ravens are interested in Bobby Wagner. Then all of a sudden the Rams and Ravens going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Boom. He ends up going to the Rams. Melvin Gordon, Melvin Gordon, nobody was checking for Melvin Gordon, but all of a sudden the Ravens and Melvin Gordon are talking about a potential contract, and then a couple weeks later, boom, the Denver Broncos, they bring them back for another year. Coincidence? I don't know, uh, but I know a lot of people have been mentioning how the Ravens has been feeling like the Ravens have been getting played and been getting used all off season. And with Melvin Gordon, with him signing a deal with the Broncos, it doesn't really come as a surprise. Um, even though when I first heard the report about the Ravens were working on a contract with him, I really thought it was going to happen. I really did. Uh, but a lot of people, and y'all were in the comment section too, y'all like, oh, smoke screen. Smoke screen. A lot of people thought it was coming from Melvin Gordon's camp, just trying to make him be, look, more as a, look more interesting as a prospect, as a free agent running back. Especially... If he put it like this to other teams, especially the Broncos, he's like, look, these Ravens, we working on a deal. These Ravens, y'all know they are the number one rushing team in the league by far. They do their thing on the ground. And look, I'd be a luxury over there, but I'm willing to go over there as a luxury since you Broncos, y'all don't want me as a necessity. Yeah, y'all got Javante Williams and cool, but can, can he run all the time? Is he ever going to need a break? I think so. Didn't I just have like 900 yards last year? Yeah, had a couple of fumbles and whatnot. Don't worry about that, though. But wasn't I productive for you last year? Hey, that's fine. You don't want me? I'll go to somebody who does. And then apparently it worked because the Broncos, they brought him back. So this ends the uh, possibility of Melvin Gordon going to the Baltimore Ravens, even though a lot of people... They didn't like the move. When that report first came out, so many Ravens fans were like, why, for what, what's the point, what's the reason, I don't get it, I don't like it, I don't want it to happen. And I could understand why. My biggest reason, um, I wouldn't have minded it, but at the same time, I was just worried. I was worried that it would be one of those situations where Ravens, they forced themselves to share the wealth like they did with Mark Ingram and J.K. Dobbins and Gus Edwards. Because your two young guys were hot. They were doing their thing, but they would force feed to Mark Ingram. And it was at a time when he wasn't always so hot. And it, I mean, it was such a tough situation because you want everybody to be happy. You want to create a, a positive work environment. That's not just for us that work regular jobs. That's for football players, too. A positive work environment makes such a big difference, such a big difference. And you don't want your employees walking around all sad, all somber, all unhappy. You don't want them to do that. So with the Ravens sharing the wealth, they're just trying to keep everybody happy. But it wasn't the best move for business. And then they realized that later on in the season. And you already know the rest of the story. But Melvin Gordon, congrats to him on being somebody else who uh, ended up using the Ravens as leverage. Um, so he is back with the Broncos for another year. Um, and the Ravens <laughs> back <laughs> getting played by another player. But I do think that this time, most Ravens fans won't be mad at getting played by Melvin Gordon at all. 
uh, because uh, m- uh, most Ravens fans, when when it was a possibility that Melvin Gordon was going to become a Baltimore Raven, they were like, man, if we so strapped for cash, why would we allocate cap to a, a running back? We could just draft one. We could just draft one. And it would be so much cheaper and it would be so much more beneficial. Or they could sign an undrafted rookie free agent. They have a lot of options as far as running back. Uh, and my biggest thing, I know um, last year was, ooh, it was a big yikes. Um, but they had Devontae Freeman. Um, they had uh, Le'Veon Bell for a little bit. They had Latavius Murray. Um, and for a lot of the season, it wasn't pretty. It did have some pretty moments here and there. Um, but the thing with that is with those guys, because you know the RPO, it was dead last season. They didn't use the RPO hardly ever. But I think that's because those guys just weren't here in training camp. They weren't here in training camp. Yes, they are veteran running backs. They got a lot of experience, like a lot of experience, but they weren't here in training camp, so they weren't able to get that chemistry, especially on them RPO plays with Lamar Jackson. So they didn't use it. They didn't use it. They tucked it away in the vault. But anyway, um, if you, whether you draft a guy, undrafted, free agent guy, whatever, or free agent, as long as he's here during training camp, being able to build up that chemistry with Lamar, with Tyler Huntley, if they, whoever, the, whatever other quarterback they get as that, camp on then that'll be good for him and that'll take him a long way so uh, another thing that i had initially thought too when um the the report about melvin gordon came out i thought about one of the possibilities that it could have been would be the ravens them trying to have somebody possibly lower their price tag maybe a Devontae freeman i don't know because he's somebody that i still expect the ravens to at least for training camp or something not that he would be a lock to make the roster but I, i would expect him to come back for training camp just to have another body there uh, as Gus Edwards and J.K. Dobbins, they get eased back into the process. Um, so anyway, we'll see how it goes. Uh, we'll see how Melvin Gordon does with the Broncos. Do Ravens play the Broncos? I think we do. I think we do play the Broncos this year. I'm pretty sure we do, but I got to double check on that. But either way, appreciate you, Melvin Gordon. Thanks for using the Ravens like a lot of other people have as well. We appreciate it. Uh, with Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. We're going to go ahead and get to work on all these questions from subs, which will be the last episode of Question from Subs before the draft. If you sent me a question before right here, right now, then it will be in the video. You don't have to ask. I love you. I appreciate you. And like Melvin Gordon told the Baltimore Ravens, I want y'all, but I don't really want y'all like that. I'm just using y'all, so I'm out.